even YouTube. Saturday the 30th of June and it's time to have a little look and see what's been happening today with XRP. Um, so first things first, let's look at the snapshot. So looking at the daily, price has pushed back up to the 47 cents level and what I'm thinking is we need to see a really strong close above this level on the daily. Uh, dropping down to what the four hours looking. Obviously we pushed up, spiked through, price didn't really close above the 47 cents level, it closed below. Um, and I did do a bit of a video earlier today about Bitcoin bearish momentum, as I feel that what we're seeing at the moment, although there's been a bit of a spike in price, it's just a pullback. I also thought I'd share a quote from the book I'm currently reading called The Daily Stoic, which is this. When I see an anxious person, I ask myself, what do they want? For if a person wasn't wanting something outside their own control, why would they be stricken by anxiety? Epictetus. Some wise words there, which I think a lot of people could take um, heed of and could probably learn a few things because we need to let go of things that we can't control and just realise that, you know, just move on, isn't it? You know, there's nothing we can't control there. So let's have a look. And, you know, price has started to reject. Now, this has come down to an interesting area. So let's just get rid of this fib. So moving on from today, you know, obviously the last couple of candles have closed under 47 cents, which again for me is still a very bearish sign. We push back up, we've pushed all the way up to sort of 48, 400, and then price closed right below structure, closed right before, right below 47 cents. And now we're filling this wick, obviously, we broke through this trend line that we had drawn here. Um, and you know, if we see price fill this wick, I mean, there's still it's just, just started this, this four hour candle. Um, so we're going to hopefully see what happens. But for me, <clears throat> it's a bit bad, really. I, I, I'm quite happy for the price to come down so I can so I can add some more when I get paid in a couple of weeks. Um, but, you know, it, it's we're still seeing the bearish momentum. I did have someone comment on... They commented on one of my ideas so from the other day when I put up this price action, just for the daily chart, you know, Due to the bearish momentum, price I feel that price will push and retest the 23, 20 cents level before a, I should say, brink to the upside. Um, Freedom Matrix said, no way. July 18th, SBR releases XRP to 8.5 million users. Previous all-time highs before January was 40 cents. So there you have your support. That coincides with log support from previous correction to now. I mean, yeah, the SBI release could happen but you've got to think at the moment yeah i know it's gonna be an extra eight and a half million people that can access xrp are they all waiting until then to to buy or you know this it, it could see a bit of an increase in volume and i hope it does you know obviously in the long term it's what we all want um but will it have the desired effect i mean again the amount of times that news gets released or things happen and it does the opposite of what people think because you know it's manipulation there's there's price manipulation by people if the price wants to hit 20 cents and people that are shorting this pair at the moment and guess what it's going to hit 20 cents you forget that you know we are just small players in this ginormous game um and what we do it's really a drop in the ocean compared to people with deep pockets and lots and lots of money so yes sbi coming online doing solely xrp could have a positive impact but at the moment i haven't got any information on the chart which gives me the uh, information that i need to make a uh, educated assumption of what will happen so at the moment 
I'm looking at what I have got, and that's the candlestick. So again, I don't look at the news. I don't trade based off the news. I look at what the chart is telling me because that is the only information I want to look at and the only information I need to look at because this doesn't hype things up. It doesn't tell lies. It simply tells you where price is going. Now, on the four hour trend line that I drew in here, you can see on the daily, although we did have this sort of push down bit of indecision, this daily candle pushed all the way up to the 14 EMA. I mean, again, these other EMAs are miles away and we could see a push down. I'm still very bearish on this pair. Um, I know a lot were rejoicing this morning on Twitter and everyone's, you know, thinking it's going up, but I, I really don't think it is. So I'm sticking to my initial uh, opinion until I see something different here that price is doing anything other than, unfortunately, going down. So we'll leave it there. There's no need to go on. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you'd like to subscribe, please do so. Um, again, as I always say, the point of the video is just to try and identify some things that we can look at maybe explain why the price has done what it's done because a lot of people don't understand these charts. If you do, fantastic. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised to see price push back down initially to 44 cents and then lower because of the, just because of the, the momentum on Bitcoin. I mean, I put up a, I think I put up an idea just to track this as well. So that again, I've just got some continuity. There you go. It's on the daily. So, again, what I was saying on Bitcoin is that the price has pushed down, pulled back up into structure. Price pushed down, we pulled up into structure. We're at the EMA, got the 618 Fibonacci level. The inversion will put us down to 5,500, which does have confluence in the next sort of bit of structure. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that one plays out. Um, but yeah, thank you for anyone that's been sharing the video. Thank you for anyone that views the video. Uh, you know, it's, it's just something to do that I think will help others that are lost in this great, because again, there's so much information out there. You don't know who to trust, what to do. I'll let you make your own assumption. I hope that the content of my videos and the subject matter speaks for itself. And you can tell that I am looking simply at the same sort of things that you can look at. And there was a video I made if you are only just coming across these videos um, a few days ago where it was about an hour long and it was about it was about how you can set your charts up and you know so when we're looking at these videos you know we can you can look at what I've done look at your own chart and we'll see what's going on so um, I'll leave it there uh, enjoy your weekend people uh, we'll have a snapshot in the morning and we'll see where price decides to go.